Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. I've had a lot of my viewers say that they're having trouble powering their high efficiency furnace with their power station or with their generator. And I'm gonna show you a sweet little trick that involves basically a $10 item that should be able to get you to power your furnace with your power station or your generator if maybe it doesn't have a pure sine wave or maybe if it just doesn't have a proper ground. So let's get right into it. So this is the little gadget that's going to help you get power from your power station to your furnace. So on a regular plug that only has two prongs like this one, you've probably noticed that one of these is actually larger than the other one. Now this larger one is the neutral because of the lack of the ground prong. Now when you plug this in, it automatically associates this with the hot side and left with neutral. Whereas when you have two uh, prongs like this, if you try and plug it into where neutral is on the right side, it simply will not go and you have to go this way. That being said, this is our neutral and this is our hot. And all this plug does is it takes this ground and inside this connection, it just connects this ground prong with this neutral, essentially just bonding the ground and the neutral. Now, if we notice on our power station for the outlets, this right here is going to be our power. That's going to be our neutral. And this one is for the ground. Now, some power stations don't actually have a little metal tab on the ground ports, as you can see this one does. And that's where the issue arises. When your furnace does not establish a proper ground, it will fault out and it sometimes will not function like it should. So in essence, if we're not getting a neutral or ground to this lead, the furnace is not going to work correctly. So basically it's as easy as plugging this into one of the outlets on your power station and then plugging in your furnace at another one of these. And this is going to bond all of the grounds and neutrals together. So you'll simply have a hot and a neutral or ground. Well, hopefully this little gadget will help you in a time that you need it most. Uh, don't wait to purchase this at the last minute. If it's something that you think you'll need, go ahead and pick it up. It's in the link in the video description. Keep it in your junk drawer and you'll be ready in the event of an emergency. I hope you guys have been enjoying the power station videos. I'm going to be testing this one out next week, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen our video on how to create an outlet that your furnace plugs into so you can actually unplug it and plug it into your power station or your generator. Check out this video. It's been a lifesaver for a lot of people and I think you will find it beneficial. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.